Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration I'll build a workflow that declares a record when a decision is made on these uh, CVs. So we're in the HR department and we're making decisions on um, CVs and they're under, either under review or they're employed or they're rejected. So in order to do that now we have to go into quick edit change the under review to rejected for example for Calicula here and then switch out of the quick edit select the file again files and declare a record so quite a few clicks meanwhile I'm actually going to show you how to undeclare a record just to have this done also that's done here on the compliance details and then undeclare a record and of course you can only do that if you have the permissions to do that so there we are and now I'm going to go back to the quick edit and change back to the way it was from the start. But as you see there's quite a few clicks involved here now that I'm doing both the declaring and undeclaring. But even just the decision point is too many clicks. And it's easy to miss the one stage. You might miss uh, declaring a record. So I'm going to build a workflow that does that step for you. So I've opened this site now, the HR site in SharePoint Designer 2013. And then I'm going to find the lists and workflows here, find the CVs, and there I'm going to build a new workflow. New. And I'm going to make that a SharePoint 2010 workflow because this action of declaring a record is not yet available in the SharePoint 2013 actions, and that's what we want to do. So declare record on decision, that's what we want to do. All right, I'm going to click OK there. So there we are inside the workflow now. I'm going to start by looking at the start options, which uh, I do on the summary page of the workflow. I'm going to select that to start automatically when an item is created or changed. And then I'm going to go back and edit the workflow. And the first condition, if current item field equals value, that's a good one. And then I'm going to click on the field selector, select my status column. If that does not equal, the under review. In that case, I'm going to do my action, and my action is, of course, to declare a workflow. There's undeclare record, and there's declare record, of course. There we go. And declare the item as a record. That's it. Now I'm done. So I'm just going to check for errors, no errors, and then I'm going to publish. Once that's published, I want to go in and test it, and I'm just going to change the um, status of one of the CVs to rejected and we'll see that it that's, does get declared a record too. So I'm going to go into quick edit again and change the status to rejected, switch the row, stop the editing and when I refresh the page we should see that. Here we go. Here's my workflow in progress now. Refreshing completed and now you see it is indeed a record. If you don't want to see this in your view, of course you can just modify the view and uncheck the box next to my workflow. Uncheck that box, OK. That shows you how to build a workflow that declares a record. The key there is that it's a SharePoint Designer 2010 workflow. It's not a SharePoint Designer 2013. You won't have the action there, regretfully yet. Thank you for watching this demonstration.